Hey there YouTube, I'm JC with Ignis Bushcraft and today I'm just uh, on a walkabout and I thought I'd take you along with me and see if we could find any useful plants and trees and things that you could use in the woods. So stick around, hope you enjoy. Here we have some cattail. Now, during the winter, cattail is good uh, to produce some tinder. All these are the seeds, and this is produced flash tinder, which means it's a tinder that burns very, very quickly. But you can mix this with, let's say, feather sticks and other types of materials to help, to help your bundle ignite if you're starting from just an ember. Uh, you can also use this as insulation if you pack your socks with it or if you pack an article, an item uh, uh, of clothing. Down here, we have some Labrador tea, which is one of my favorite plants. It's uh, very tasty, it's very easy to find. You can get it year round and it has a high medicinal value because it can be used to, for everything from headaches to uh, stomach problems or intestinal, intestinal problems. And it's also a mild diuretic. So this plant can be very useful. Labrador tea can be confused with a lot of plants. So it's important to know how to identify it Notice here the red bud at the end, and also if I take a bigger leaf here, you see the bottom is fuzzy. That's how you really know. The central line down the middle, it's a thick, leathery feeling leaf with the fuzz on the bottom. And to prove my point, here's what I believe is some sheep's laurel, which is poisonous right next to some Labrador tea. You can see at a first glance they look alike. But if you take a closer look, the leaves look very different. They're very thin. They don't very feel very leathery. And they have these fruits here. But at a first glance, someone might take this who's inexperienced and think that it's Labrador tea. So that's why it's important if you gather plants to know what you're looking at. And there's guides that exist to help you identify. Let's see what else we can find. Over here, we have a birch tree, a white birch tree. Very easily recognizable. And this tree, for survival purposes, it's number one use is probably the bark which you can use for fire lighting and basketry and a whole bunch of crafts. But when you find it peeling like this, its number one use is really to make fire. So more about the birch tree. Oftentimes, if you find dead birch, you'll find this fungi up there this fungus, and that's actually horse's hoof fungus. What a fungus like this is useful for, again, holding to the birch's fire properties, this is really good for holding embers when it's dry. So it's a good thing to have this because this will be able to carry an ember for a long period of time. Over here is a red pine tree, another very useful tree. So the needles over here are full of vitamin C, which is really the only, uh, the only thing I use it for. You make a tea out of a red pine tree or actually a lot of pines because they contain a lot of vitamin C. So in a survival situation, this would keep you from getting scurvy. And it's also very tasty tea. 
makes a very uh, uh, turpentine almost mint kind of taste in my opinion so this guys is a poplar tree or sir rather a trembling aspen and one cool thing about this tree uh, for survival purposes is you can see here the bark is whitish and if you rub that bark a bit you'll see that there's a white powder and this white powder is actually really good as a sunscreen so you won't get sunburnt it's a very cool use and you can tell if you just rub it you can get a lot of that white powder and what this white powder does is it actually protects the tree during its lifetime against the rays of the sun which is why this powder is useful as a sunscreen over here we have a cedar tree more specifically an eastern white cedar and this also makes very good tea and is very uh, packed full of vitamin C and other goodness very nice tree as well uh, the needles smell very very good white cedar bark is yet another tree that bark can be used for fire lighting this is a very popular tinder for bow drill sets So I hope you enjoyed this little video. Uh, it's starting to get dark pretty fast, so I'm going to call it a day. But uh, this has been JC with Ignis Bushcraft, and I'll see you next time.